The Light Sport and Ultra Light Flyer would like to thank BRS Parachutes for providing air transportation to and from Aero. We would also like to thank ICP North America for supplying our accommodations at the show and Renegade Light Sport aircraft for transportation and meals during the show. We are here at Aero, the grand show for light aircraft in Europe. Thanks to BRS Parachutes, we're able to make this series of videos for you. Today we're talking with Edward van der Kratz, yeah. and he is with ES Trikes, yes. and we're going to look at some very interesting, very light aircraft yes. here. First yes. of all, I look, Edward, at this uh, arrangement, which I know to be a harness that a hang glider pilot yes. wears, and then gets into his hang glider and flies away, and he's doing this with an electric motor that looks... It's very sleek and small. But one question I have is, where are the batteries, and how do you carry all the batteries with you in this package? Okay, so it's very easy to see. Here is the engine, and here is the battery pack. Ah, the battery pack is right here. Yes, and here we're working uh, with a 24 ampere hour, 58 volt battery. So we have uh, enough power to have a climbing aid. And what kind of climb rate would you find it with this? The climb rate will be uh, two and a half meters a second okay. with the Atos. That's the glider you see here. Right, the, uh, we'll, we'll look at the uh, fixed wing aircraft. Fixed wing is a, rigid it's a high performance yeah. 20 to 1 glider, I yeah. know. So. Okay, and a two and a half meter per second sink rate for Americans is about 500 feet per minute. Uh, yes. Climb rate, I should yes. say. And uh, also, somebody will look at this then and say, but a hang glider pilot is going to carry this all? It's a lot of weight. But we need to look at the little gear legs that help yeah. keep the prop off the ground. But does this also support the weight? Or does the pilot support the weight? Support the weight. The pilot is just in, in, the, in the harness inside. Okay. It's hanged up on the glider. And for the start, he needs to walk until the glider flies. So the glider will lift. Yes. And then, uh, and then, then carrying this weight is not yes. significant. And then you can have here the gear. Which can so he can pull in. the gear up then yes. once he's in flight. Yes. And this uh, cover here will cover all yes. of this. It's aerodynamically closed. And when he spends his motor out, when he goes for the thermal, okay. so he wants to have the effort of the normal hang glider, propel it close. Okay, and this just will close because air is flowing over it. Yes. And when he hits assume, the motor again, then it flips the motor, up. it opens out of that. Very good. What is a package like this entire setup right here, without the hang glider wing, but yes. just this part here? How much weight are we looking at? This is by a nearby 20 kilos. Okay, 20 kilos. That's only about 45 pounds. That's not very much weight. No, no, no. It's very, very light. Yes. And uh, how long will this battery last? Yeah. It uh, always depends a little bit on the effort of the, of the glider. Sure. With, the, with the Atos, we know the, the, uh, the, the flying times are like a 20 minutes. 20 minutes for okay. uh, power, yes. So let's put that in perspective. For a hang glider pilot, the only reason why a hang glider pilot would want power of his own is just to get up to where yes. the thermals are. Yes. So with a 500 foot per minute climb rate, two and a half meters per second, in five minutes of operation, you're at 2,500 feet, about 1,200 meters, uh, or thereabouts, and now you catch the thermal and you turn the engine off. You still have 15 minutes of power left. Yes. So this is actually for a hang yes, pilot. Very, this is a good solution today. Because also when you are flying uh, cross country, maybe you don't find a nice line landing field, so you have a so little you can bit have of some power, power to get to a better landing. To better, better landing. Okay. Um, when we do these videos, they last a long time on the web, so we try not to get too uh, fixed about the price. But get us in the approximate price range of this package. This will package. be uh, nearby 9,000 euro. 9,000 euro today, that's about $12,000. And uh, of course, you can change hang gliders. You go to a new hang glider if you want, and you can keep this package. And it will work with most hang gliders. I got to ask you one thing. What do you? What is the name of this package? This package uh, is called E-Lift. E Electric Lift. All right, that's very simple. <laughs> We've given some good information about it, Edward. If people want more information about all of your products and the E-Lift, where can we send them on the web? It's on flyingexpert.com.
flyingexpert.com. I haven't got enough information about these kinds of aircraft, but I'll have more. You can find all of that and lots of other information about light aircraft on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining us here at Aero. More and more pilots of little planes are asking themselves, what color is their parachute? It was a beautiful day for flying. Ernst Kuhn of Neuss, Germany, was piloting his small two-seater a thousand feet above some idyllic French countryside near the town of Gap. In an instant, it became a pilot's worst nightmare. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw an airplane climbing right toward him. So what I did, uh, pull a little bit. Then when you see the video, something happened. I believe it was a rope in my propeller. It sure was. He was ensnared in a cable used by a plane towing a glider. He was dropping like a stone. So what did he do? The first I did was switch off the engine. And immediately afterwards, pull the parachute. A parachute not just for him, but for his whole plane. He wafted into an orchard and walked away without a scratch. I can't understand how it was so, but it was so. It was a moment with, I think, very, very much adrenaline. Ernst was saved by a rocket-propelled parachute system for airplanes made by Ballistic Recovery Systems of St. Paul, Minnesota. The company claims the chutes have saved 199 lives. Cirrus Designs is the first company to build general aviation airplanes with BRS parachutes as standard equipment. And Ernst rebuilt his little bird himself. And of course, installed a new chute before he took flight again. Do you think that you are alive today because of that parachute? Yes, 100%. 100%. Parachutes cost between $3,000 and $20,000, depending on which plane you're putting it into. Of course, when you ask Ernst, worth every penny. You know, it's like the, the credit card commercial. Priceless, right? 